your, uh, you know, kind of what you believe in on defense. What, what is that? If someone says, what is the Coach Halfley defense, what, how do you describe it? We've been more middle-closed defense with a safety in the middle of the field than probably most people in college football. Yeah. Um, most people are some type of too high quarter space, and I get it for the quarterback run game. So mm-hmm. we've had to kind of trend in that direction as well. But I've, I've done a lot. I've done a lot, at least a starting point with the middle close with four down linemen. Um, very similar to what we did in San Francisco and Ohio State. A lot of people are doing it in the NFL. Um, but I've started to adapt and create different one high shells, which really play like two high shells and get extra guys in the box. Yeah. You just got to stop the quarterback run game. So it's yeah. a different. It's almost when I talk to my friends in the NFL and we talk defense together, it's almost a different game. Yeah. I mean, because the quarterback in the NFL, they're going to run it in big moments or in the red zone or on third down yeah. or in a championship game, right? Mm-hmm. But you can't do that week in and week out. Yeah. And you got to account for an extra guy. Yeah. So you got to change. Yeah. Um, and those are, and then you can go, I, I joke sometimes, unbalanced. It's, you can't do that in the NFL. It's like yeah. we're defending unbalanced formations. There's a field and a boundary yeah. in college football where in the NFL, the ball's in the middle of the field the whole game. Yeah. It's a different game. Yeah. Um, and it's been fun to, to follow it. Oh, what's packing with you, you two? Woo! Cage TV. Back with another vid. You dig. Shout out to uh, all of the subscribers. Um, much respect to y'all. Uh, shout out to uh, the Outlaws, TR. Check out Waking Pack, Packer fan in Vegas, you know, Big Nate, Packers fan with Swagger, Um, B-Mac, AJ, if I'm forgetting any others, man, I apologize. Uh, It's a rainy, rainy day out here in California, man. catching COVID <laughs> again. So a couple of my partners, uh, they went down, so they was like, oh, we're just going to shut it down for the next two days. So I have a few videos coming out to y'all, man. But let's get into the shit and get into why we here. The Green Bay Packers, the greatest football team in sports history, just hired their defensive coordinator, Jeff Halfley. I think that's how you say his last name. And um, I, I don't know what to think about this hire. You know, I thought Matt LaFleur would, would have waited a little bit longer until, you know, probably after the Super Bowl, just in case there was any other candidates available for the position that was, you know, interested in the position that he might have wanted to talk to. But, you know, when you think about this league, word get around fast, and Matt probably put out, you know, his memo across to across the, the, the NFL staffing. And um, some of those guys responded back, and some of those guys didn't. And, of course, you know, just thinking about this hire, for Packer fans, I know. <laughs> I know. We want the big-name guy. We want the, the, the guy, you know, the guy that, you know, got his team far, the guy that, you know, it's more to it than that. It's way more to it than that. And the more and more that I I thought about the higher, the more and more I I, kind of started to respect the higher. But at first I was kind of a little like, huh? Okay. I don't really know too much about this guy. Um, you know, then all of the information just started flooding the media, especially on all of the Packers sites on IG. You know, they start, oh, Boston College and uh, Ohio State. And, you know, he, he, he was the coach for the 49ers and has some NFL experience. And they planned all of these uh, snippet videos of Richard Sherman highly praising the guy and Dan Orlowski, he's coming out. Oh, they got a great guy. You know, we don't know that. We don't know that until we see what he does with what he has, what the Green Bay Packers are giving him. Once we see what they do on the field, the players, are they going to buy into the system? You 
know, I like the four three. <laughs> to be, you know, honest, you know, the three four is okay, but now you have to take all of that three four information out of the brains of the starters on this defense, and now you have to bring in the four three and compute that into their into their into their uh, into their psyche, just so they can, you know transform this defense from old to, you know, a new style. Um, not saying the 4-3 is a new style, but, you know, some, some of those guys might be stuck in their old ways, and it's going to take coaching to get get it out of them. You know, they, you know, the media playing all of these interviews with the guy, and, you know, only certain parts of the interview where it can intrigue Packer fans to trust and believe in what Matt LaFleur is, uh, Matt LaFleur is higher. And, um, all I can say is it's, it's an interesting hire, uh, but, you know, Matt knows this guy. Um, I hope Matt LaFleur laid out his expectations for this coach and, 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 and what he's uh, expecting out of this guy. Of course, I like the fact that the guy is young. I love that a lot. You know, he's, he's a young guy. We, we, we don't have no guy. No, it's, it's about the culture. It's about the culture and you know like I said everybody's going to start following what the Packers have done they're going to go with the youth movement they're going to move all these old old players old coaches they're all getting pushed out the way if you like I said the Belich Belichick I mean everybody was expecting Belichick to get hired by the Falcons nope <laughs> the owner Arthur he said nah got to go in another direction man it's the youth movement right now we got to get the most out of these young guys that we're bringing in um, before we have to pay them a boatload of money so um, it makes sense to me it makes total perfect sense to me um, so who knows what that was what, what what that indicates for the Jets and Aaron Rodgers if they I mean of course they're gonna try to get the most they can out of Aaron Rodgers it makes sense um, not to let the guy go down especially you know, his arm talent, you know, you just can't deny that. Can't deny that. Can't deny Aaron Rodgers' arm talent. Um, but, you know, welcome to Green Bay, uh, Jeff Halfley. Um, I'm on board with whatever you're trying to bring to this team as far as uh, getting over the hump and getting to a Super Bowl. Uh, I'm not saying we get into a Super Bowl next year. But I think it's probably going to take maybe half a season to a season for this defense to really show us what it's really going to look like under the tenure of, uh, of Jeff Halfley, you know. Um, so, ah, to some Packer fans, it might be a huge question mark. I've, I've been looking on social media, and it just seems like, you know, so some of the fans are, are, are all for it. Some fans are a little confused. Uh, some fans are already saying fire Jeff Halfley. Um, but like I said, this man won't be successful unless Goop drafts or brings in the talent that's going to work for this defense. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot right there on the table, man, on the defensive side of the ball, man. It's a lot. It's a lot, man. It's a lot. But I think uh, just from seeing his attitude, and I'm pretty sure they're going to have a press conference soon uh, with Jeff Halfley either probably today. Uh, he'll be introduced as the defensive coordinator to the press. Uh, but we'll see, man. We'll see what this turns out to, man, because now I'm, a, I'm very, very interested to see what the Green Bay Packers are going to do in free agency and how – this hire might change what they previously thought about doing going into the draft. Or they probably had this already figured out, you know, once uh, Joe Barry was fired or once they made the decision behind closed doors that, you know, Matt LaFleur said, I'm not going to make a decision on Joe Barry till the end of the season. And we see what happened when you fire a coach in the middle of the season. Perfect example, Philadelphia Eagles. They fired their coach in the middle of the season and it cost them big time. They only won. Uh, oh my God, this is insanity. All of this water. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God, this water. 
Jesus, this water everywhere. Ugh. Come on to this entrance. But yeah, man, uh, like I said, interesting hire for the Green Bay Packers. <laughs> I'm uh, interested to hear what uh, higher point of view is going to say on Waking Pack if he do it today. But yeah, that's what we got, man. Jeff Happily, Halfley, congratulations on becoming a uh, defensive coordinator for the Green Bay Packers. Like I said, man, um, anybody taking go ahead, anybody taking on this position should be privileged and honored to be coaching for the Green Bay Packers. So, with that being said, man, um, I don't want to do no breakdown video about this hire. It's, pl it's pretty self-explanatory uh, that Matt LaFleur um, is looking for somebody who's going to change the culture in the locker room as far as um, motivating the guys, getting the best out of the guys. And it just seemed like Joe Barry was lacking in that in that area of uh, getting the guys to go out there and play 60 minutes of football. You know what I'm saying? So um, we'll see how the how the how the defense um, reacts to Jeff Halfley. Um, I haven't seen any um, any any players on uh, Instagram or Twitter that have said anything responding to the. Uh, new DC coordinator so once we uh, get a press conference and you know he answers some questions then we'll we'll, we'll really get more information on uh, this new DC so um, with that being said man go pack up